Hey everyone, Jero Lights here, and we have the brand new BitSafe Lighter Insert by Zippo. So you're not going to want to miss this review. Zippo's never done anything like this before, so I'm excited to dig in and to see what we have here. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. It helps the channel out tremendously, and I appreciate all of your support. Welcome to Jero Lights. Before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Chuck Riley at Riley66 for sending us this insert for review. He's been a huge supporter of the channel, so go on to Riley66.com. He still has these available. Also, along with all of his custom designs and also recent Zippo releases. So go check him out, Riley66.com. Tell him J-Row sent you. And thank you, Chuck, for sending this for review. So here we have a thanks j -Row message on top. Chuck always does a wonderful job at packaging. He always sends them in these boxes and always has them wrapped up pretty good. So we open up. I also love he has some sweet bubble wrap, uh, pouch bubble wrap. Once again, check them out, Riley66.com. And here it is, the new insert. Here's our insert, and I gotta say, it feels great. It has a really good texture to it. Now, it is not made out of steel, like most Zippo inserts are. It's not, not steel, so it's not magnetic. But it does feel great. It has a really good grip on it when you use it. I love the design up top. You have the flame on the front and on the back. Here on the bottom, you have your bottom bits. They just come right out and slip right back in. If you notice, it does say China on the bottom. So I'm betting this plastic piece was made in China and the rest of the body is made in Bradford, Pennsylvania. But I, I really do like how Zippo's really amped up their insert game in the last few years. You know, around 2018, they started with their butane inserts. Then they had their arc inserts, their yellow flame inserts. And this year they came out with a yellow flame pipe insert. So I really like how they're trying to venture out in that game. I really wish they come out with a zip light. You know, the zip light was in the late 90s, early, early 2000s. So I really wish they come out with that insert again, but this is a start. I really do think this is a cool concept and I will be carrying this with me every day. Here I have one of my everyday carries and I carry an empty insert and just use it as a fidget spinner. So I'm excited to use this. A lot of people have said that one of their main concerns is not using the insert while it's in the case. And, you know, you can see the top could be getting in the way. But if you look at Zippo.com, it is stiff trying to get out of that case, by the way. If you look at Zippo.com, anytime they have an image of someone using this insert, it is out of the case. So it is intended to use while it's out of the case. Another issue that I've seen people might have is whether you live across the globe, you may not use the same style bits. And one thing I was wondering is the, the bottom pieces, at least here in the States, are all the same. No matter what type of bit you use, generally, it's the same. So I have a couple bits here. I have a Black & Decker and just kind of an off-brand bit set. And so if you want to utilize a different style bit than the ones that Zippo provides, I see no problem doing that. It fits right in a different style bit. Even if you need to get somewhere a little with a little bit more depth, fits right in. Obviously the lid won't close on this, but the, the bit system that Zippo has seems to be universal and interchangeable. So I don't see, see that a problem. For me, I'd probably replace a couple of these with some Allen key. Another thing on Zippo's website at the bottom is 
It says this only fits in the normal size Zippo case. So it says it doesn't fit in the armors, doesn't fit in the 1935 replica case. Well, let's let's test that out right now. Here we have an armor case. This is 2021 armored chameleon. And this this slid right on in there. It fits good. It you know, it's not moving or anything, and it comes out a lot easier than it came out in that case. So I see no problem in using this in an armor case. That'd be, be a good case to carry this in because it just it seems to slip on in and out quite easily. Here we have our 1935 replica, and it is a little shorter top. So yeah, it doesn't close all the way unless you probably take this out. And it closes just fine. So I say the armor case... It's probably one of the better cases to carry this in. But being J-Row Lights, I got to rep my own, own Zippo. And I think this is an awesome tool. So let me know in the comments what you think. This is something brand new that Zippo's introduced. So I'm curious of all the different viewpoints that collectors, users may have when it comes to this insert. So let me know in the comments what you think. Are you getting one? Are you not getting one? I'd be interested in the conversation this insert stirs up. So if you haven't already, go on to Riley66.com and check out one of these bit inserts as well as some of his other designs. Greatly appreciate the support and make sure once again, subscribe and like this video. It really helps out the channel. Thank you for all the support. This is J-Real Lights. We'll see you on the next one.